You know what I want to say? Welcome aboard, Mr. Trump. It takes a heart change. And, and let's go the confident route in that it's true and let God be the judge of Donald Trump's heart. I am more than elated that uh, Donald Trump has changed his stance on, on the life issues. And um, uh, we shouldn't bash him. We should be thankful. And I'm not here to decipher uh, whether he's lying or, or going, uh, telling tales. Uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, that uh, Donald Trump has uh, chosen to be pro-life. I, I think that should be said for most of us. And uh, I know for myself, uh, I was quite liberal in my youth, and I was uninformed. I, I, I wasn't saved. And uh, I ultimately uh, just didn't pay attention. As I grew older, grew up, and uh, obviously uh, learned my walk with Jesus and became a Christian, I, there's no doubt that people can have a heart change. And it can be very quickly and or it can take years and that's between him and god i think he's doing a great job and uh you know i support donald trump and that is not new news and uh i have to add though that church begins at home jesus begins at home and uh, i believe that the dialogue of choices in life should also begin at home whether it does or not you know we can see that with uh women that do face the the, the sad choice of you know choosing life or not that's it i'm not going to make a uh, any more of a deal out of it than it is um i support donald trump and victoria that's- you are not just saying that someone can change or so and so can change you've changed on this and here you are making your life around life so i mean and like we mentioned alveda king and you know for people to go ahead and go after mr trump on this uh as far as like as if there's some sort of time limit where oh well now we really believe he's pro-life because he said it a certain amount of years what's the difference isn't it uh, the moment you do it i mean i would think would be the time you're pro-life i'm totally in agreement and you know same thing with my background i uh Again, I just, I had a heart change. It is not that I was ever pro-choice. I just wasn't involved. You know, it, it didn't hit me like it hit me when I became a new creation in Jesus. And all the lights and bells and whistles went off. And I, I haven't stopped. I, you know, being a voice for the voiceless, you know, I, I just, it's biblical. And uh, I feel that Donald Trump is being a voice for America and uh, that being said, you know, uh, I support him. I support uh, his change of heart. I'm not going to pick his heart apart and or his, his journey with uh, Christ. Uh, we're all on this journey, and um, I pray for our leaders. And, and it really, it's, it, it's that simple. It needs to be that simple. And, you know, I spoke with... Uh, Jesse uh, Witten uh, this morning, uh, an affiliate uh, with Save the Storks, and we were talking about uh, life and issues and choices, and and really he was going along the same lines of as much as we want to defund plant parenthood, our goal starts with one stork at a time, and again the same thing was as the uh, as the church begins at home, meaning. We preach Jesus here at my home. Amen? And uh, it's my responsibility, one person at a time, to love them, to show them compassion, and uh, to to share God's love with each and every single woman that comes into our path. And that's what Save the Storks does. That's what the clinic is doing. And, um, and again, uh, that is our main focus, is one person at a time. And God's got it. And that's who we're trusting uh, for our leader. And he is the leader. And um, Trump is running for president. And and if we can just keep it as simple as that, uh, God is the one that does the work. You know, we are his vessels. So, you know, that's my passion. That's my stance. And I don't enjoy debating people. Uh, uh, Opening the dialogue and educating uh, is very different. And, And that's a huge reason why I love talking with you. Uh, you know, we go back and forth on, 
exactly that, you know, uh, issues. And we can keep it simple. And I think that's what folks need to remember, even with the ministries that I am involved in. Uh, you know, if you're pro-choice, you can still support the women that are choosing life. Our clinics need diapers. They need formula. Uh, they need basic needs. And uh, as nonprofits, our goal is to raise awareness and raise money uh, and pour it back into these clinics as well as save the storks, pour it back into these vans. I like to see a van in every single uh, city across this nation, and nothing is too big for God, absolutely nothing. And there's no, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, save the storks coming along the side of the high desert pregnancy clinic, uh, is, it's totally of the Lord. It's a heart change and uh, one person at a time. And a big event uh, coming up in March for the pregnancy clinic. Can you tell everybody about it? Absolutely. I'm super excited about the, the March for Life. It's actually our 28th uh, March for Life, and it's in Yucca Valley, California. Wish everybody could, could come. Uh, early registration is at 8.30 a.m. And what this walk does for our clinic, as you know, we're nonprofit. So this is a huge fundraiser for our local clinic. Everyone's invited. Uh, I, I ask for prayer that people do show up and uh, give from their heart and that lives are changed and babies are saved and that we just continue to grow and partner with such great groups to save the storks. All right, Victoria Price, we really appreciate you being with us as always, and, and your fight is amazing, and, and we back you 100%. And just like Governor Palin's been doing all these years, you are a true champion for the unborn a true champion for life and and we hope that mr trump will be a true champion for life in washington come january of 2017 and i believe if he is so fortunate to get there he he, he will be and uh as you said i love the way you put it one stork at a time yes amen. thank you kevin Victoria Price. For more, visit SaveTheStorks.com. And for more information or to have a Storks rep come to your church, send an email to Victoria at SaveTheStorks.com. Sarah Palin congratulated Donald Trump after another superb week of wins. Trump taking the states of Michigan, Mississippi, and Hawaii as he continues to solidify his case to be the best GOP nominee in a very long time. Not even thug protesters or paid protesters or criminals could derail the Trump train this past week. Full speed ahead. A huge get for Mr. Trump. Dr. Ben Carson has endorsed his campaign. After the world's greatest neurosurgeon made that announcement, Sarah Palin wrote on Facebook, book dr ben carson welcome on board the trump train thank you from all americans excited about the huge growth of the conservative movement now gop leaders wake up and realize donald trump's energized positive campaign is bringing in new voters smashing records along the way and it's only just begun the trump movement Heading far away from the failed status quo is accomplishing what you've not done. It's finally growing our party with engaged patriots who stand solidly on common-sense conservative planks in our platform. This is awesome. This makes America great again. This past week, Governor Palin raised her big gulp once again. Palin saying, quote, liberal New York billionaire politician Michael Bloomberg announces he won't run for president after all. Phew! Freedom-loving Americans everywhere could take a big gulp of relief to celebrate, unquote. See why we love the Gov? The governor's off to Florida. Palin posting on Facebook, loading up the truck to leave one sunny state for the Sunshine State and beyond. Excited to fly cross-country from home in Alaska today to meet you great Florida patriots tomorrow who are ready to make America great again, surrendering my ice fishing hole on our still-frozen solid lake to other anglers for the next few days. I'm humbled to be able to hit the campaign trail again for our next president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. See you soon, Lower 48. Can't wait to thaw out. And Palin remembered Nancy Reagan this past week, saying, Rest in peace, Nancy Davis Reagan. Thank you for your service and for sharing your life with America as you helped inspire our nation to believe we could be that shining city on a hill. God bless your legacy. To see any of the governor's posts in their entirety, visit Sarah Palin's Facebook page, follow her on Twitter at Sarah Palin USA, and check out sarahpack.com.